welcome back to mining no wrong game oh it's part of excel um so there's some no good news probably bad news for the path of exile watchers of my on my channel i'm not enjoying the league i'm not enjoying playing path of exile at the moment and so i think i'm gonna end it early even though I didn't achieve my goal of doing Shaper, that's in the 1%, and we I just really don't want to progress. I, I just don't, I, I just actually am dreading recording Path of Exile at the moment, and it's just, it's one of those things where it's just like, I've, I read everything, it's like, play what you want, and I don't want to play Path of Exile at the moment, so I think we're going to go to the Magic the Gathering, though it's kind of a bit early for Magic the Gathering, because we can't do the proper drafts. That we want because I want to do War of the Spark, but those aren't out yet for like another week or so, I think, maybe two, because it's only just released, so it's in sealed, and I don't have the the um crystals for it. So yeah, that's a that's a whole debacle. Um, Hello. Goodbye. View the subterranean chart. What's her supplies like? Oh, let's go, let's go delving. Because this episode and next episode are pretty much just me finishing off the series because I actually need to and I don't have anything really lined up. Though I could just load up Magic the Gathering and just do that. Hmm. You know what? This will be the final. So we're going to go to the mining camp, but this will be the final episode. Yeah. Because I can I can just do the Magic the Gathering dailies. And yeah. Um, I have some of them stored up. And we're going to be bringing that back. Um... Because I actually really want to mess around with the War of the Spark, but I can't. I'm a go. I'm a free to play user, and I'm not that good at getting the crystals, the paid currency. Essentially, I'm good at getting the gold because that's easy. No matter how many times you fail, you still achieve it. I wish there was other ways to get it. But let's just. Where do we go? To give it up. We'll go up. We'll just do this for a little bit, and then I'll move on. I don't know why, I just, I don't, I'm not a crafter, and I'm not a person who likes to go out and collect stuff, when there's too much to collect, I have four sash tabs to work with, essentially, four item sash tabs and one currency one, and it annoys me when it gets full, I hate a messy sash tab full of a bunch of junk that I can't use, that I'm just hoping progresses and all that, it's just, it doesn't work out really doesn't work out and it's just really concerning that it's just like this league is very centered towards those types of play styles and it's just I don't like it because it's like I would love to actually hold on to items but it's just like you can't because oh god you can't hold on items because you don't have the inventory space, and I don't want to buy sash heads because I don't have the money to be able to do that. I would love to be able to do that. Have just a couple quad sash tabs to interact with things a hell of a lot more. It would be so much better. wonder if we can actually get a level up and then we end on 60, 86, yeah, it's a decent haul. The weirdest thing is, is I recorded and got to like level 80 on Syndicate very quickly and I really enjoyed the way things progressed here, it just felt like a slog and a slow progression, it doesn't help that Syndicate lags my computer to all hell because of the way that it's done. Because they designed it in a way where it's like... The Syndicate members aren't decided until they appear, so you have to load in every single one of them. Which harms slower PCs, because my PC is, what, seven, six or seven years old now? And it's just, it's slogging, it chugs along in most things. Maps haven't been feeling good, because I haven't been getting maps. I say that as I get some maps, but it's just, it's one of those things where it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like what I've experienced in the past, it doesn't feel right.
Like, this character feels good. But it took a while to get to this stage. And I didn't like the reworks that happened to the character midway through for the thing. Okay, now we can progress. I don't know what else to say, like... I could play other games, but I've got a new series for that, so like Torchlight and all that will be appearing in those series. And that's how I'm going to be working those ones into the actual fold. If I, get a, if I buy Grim Dawn, I'll play that. But I'm not probably going to be buying it anytime soon. Let's get out of here. That's my inventory. Now we can do one more. Is my damage? I don't know. It feels like my damage is down. But then again, I haven't played it over a week. And I've been thinking about this a lot, like cancelling, like stopping playing for a while now. So it's been about like two or three weeks since I've had the first thoughts of like, do I really want to keep playing? Because like leveling up a new character was just being a slug and rip was really being really just annoying. Especially it was a slow character to level on. I only got to like 35 before I stopped. I don't know. Just, I like things to feel smooth and that I'm making progress and when it's really slow and I can't do the non-map content quickly or at a decent pace, it just feels really bad. I guess I'll do magic. I don't really mind if I lose, if I succeed, it's fantastic. And if I'm really bad at magic though, it's kind of funny. Yeah, normally I'm just like running around. I'm like, this is so much fun, but at the moment it's just like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> and that's the bad thing about it is it's, I, I guess I'm burnt out in Path of Exile for now. I think the month or two off will do it. And we'll see what the next league is as well. Because if it is good and I'm intrigued in it and I'm invested in it, because they say it's going to be um, better. <laughs> so I hope it is. So weird. Okay, we'll just grab all of those. I was thinking of showing off like my um standard characters. Stuff that I've collected over there, but it's like eh. It's really not needed. Like fits in the encampment. Hello. 
let's just go through all those. I don't really care. Not good. Not good. Nope. Uh, no. Nope. Corrupted. That's okay. Farewell. The biggest slug is trying to get this. Six. Six sockets, at least. And then have four linked. See, the problem is, is normally the, all of these divination cards take up an entire tab, but I've got this tab full of services items, so it's like, ugh. T2, and look, I haven't even breached. I've only just touched yellow, and, and I feel like I've done a lot more than I normally do in the lower sphere of things, which is annoying. And then we pop over here. I don't think we're going to make it. We got this in a possibly another thing. Depends on how long this one takes. If I get to like 15, I'm definitely going to get 15. If we get close to 20 minutes, I'm just going to end it. Hmm. I just... You know what? I just want a monster mayhem league. It's just a sledgehammer, just swing it around. That would be fun. Like, yes, we've had that in the past, it was called Breach, but that was, that's, I think that's my favourite league of them all. You just go in and you see everything explode and die, oh, so good. Was good. Got some good deaths there. Nice. Downstairs we go. Pop it this way. Ooh, unique somewhere over there. I will pick that up on the way over. I feel like there's less chests here now. Like, there's more in these rooms, but there's less in the way to them. Because so normally there's a chest in the corners. There isn't any more. Which is kind of a disappointment.
I like to collect things. I like to just have all of the uniques saved up at one point. Because you never know, they might change, they might become worth something. Or I might have a build that needs them. You just never know. And I just want to have them there at some point. But I don't have the space to store them because I, th I actually do believe that free users should get another stash tab. Hell, it would actually be amazing if they got a premium stash tab so they can actually trade. You know, utilize the tools that the devs have given us. You know, let us interact with the trading API, but no, but you lock it behind paid users. Sometimes it's not the smartest thing. Because the game is turned into a trading game. I don't know how much they try and deny it. There's no player interaction, so you just spam someone until they respond. Or you just go through and you just say thank you. There's no interaction whatsoever. Oh, these are just my gripes, but I just hate trading. It's so hard to get stuff, even when you play several hours a day every week. You get absolutely nothing for it. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, that is technically possibly an upgrade. Farewell. Now let's see. 49. Not an upgrade. Yeah, it was potentially one. Don't know why I'm doing this. I'm just going to be ending the episode and then not touching the game until the new league. Oh, I'd like to have things sorted. Oh, let's just dump them. No! It's mine. I'll sort it later. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the league. It'll be an interesting discussion because you, you know what my views is. I'm not the fan of it. Too much going on. Too laggy in the sense of integration of other leagues into the core mechanics. Makes it not enjoyable when you enter a map and the first two or three minutes of it is you're lagging or hell and you might die at any moment. Anyway, I'll see you guys. Next time. <laughs>